everyone, welcome back and thanks for joining me for today's video which is going to be a really fun and festive one. I'm sitting at a bit of a different uh, angle to usual because the low winter sun is just hitting me at all kinds of funny angles, including here right now, so I've had to shift positions a little bit. I feel very close to the fireplace. I may turn into a roast chicken by the end of this video because the fire is currently on, so if I start to get a little bit hot and bothered, you know why. Um, so today's video is going to be a Christmas decoration haul video because Charlie and I have been purchasing a few pieces recently to decorate the house for Christmas. It is Sunday today that I'm filming this, hopefully the same day that you guys are going to see this video. And over the next few days we're going to really start decorating the house for Christmas. We haven't had a chance to get our tree yet, but we have definitely got a few things which we can decorate it with as soon as we do get it. So the retailers that I have been purchasing from recently include John Lewis, Anthropology, Next, and then there's also a few bits and bobs which I've picked up on my recent travels. As always with all my videos, everything that I mention where possible will be linked down below, so if you fall in love with any of these pieces, you know where to go to find the links to buy them. First of all, the pieces that I collected on my recent travels. Charlie and I always like to pick up a Christmas decoration, which even if it doesn't resemble the place that we visited, it will always just remind us of our little trip away. So when I went to Barbados, even though Charlie wasn't with me, I still wanted to pick up something to remember the trip by. This is just absolutely beautiful. It's a little angel which has been made out of a shell. And then on the other side it says Barbados in gold, so a really lovely reminder of the trip. It's even got these little shells for its wings, so a really lovely kind of organic decoration, if you will. And then it's got these beautiful pearls, some lace. I just thought that was so delicate and so precious, and I'm definitely going to be putting this on our tree for years and years to come. Charlie and I don't really go for a theme for our tree, we just prefer it to be a little bit more personal, so we don't say only red and gold, or only white and silver, we just put on things that we love, so that will go absolutely perfectly. This next one is a little bit more plain, we picked this up from Switzerland, and considering we went around so many Christmas markets, I was fairly disappointed with the selection of Christmas decorations. This one I just picked up from a shop because I thought it was really pretty. It's a plain round bauble with rose goldy white flecks inside it, really really simple, nothing special and to be honest in a few years I'll probably forget that it was from Switzerland, but for now this is just a little reminder of our trip. And considering this is a haul video this one is kind of cheating because actually this one was uh, a gift from Charlie for my birthday, it is a sausage dog tree decoration that says Dexter in it, I just absolutely love this, you can buy me anything sausage dog related and I will be happy, um, so yeah I absolutely love this one and hopefully we will build up even more of a collection of sausage dog related tree charms because it is so cute! <laughs> and now things which are actually available in the UK, things that I've bought since coming back from our trips and the first retailer whose bits and bobs I'm going to go through is Anthropology. I was actually browsing Blog Lovin' and came across someone's roundup of best Christmas decorations and there were so many from Anthropology, so that kind of inspired this haul. I've not undone a lot of them since they arrived, so I will do like a first impressions with you guys. Also, a lot of these pieces I picked up on Cyber Monday, so I did get 20% off because Anthropology is not the cheapest place to buy Christmas decorations, but they do last year after year, so I thought I would splurge just a little bit this year. This is a set of small baubles in really beautiful colours. You've got some really warm oranges and reds, some gold sparkly ones, some pink ones, and I just love the colours. I thought the selection of shades here was really beautiful, and I find small ones really good for filling in the gaps in Christmas trees. Sometimes you just don't want a big bauble filling a gap, so these will be good fillers, and also if we get, which hopefully we are doing later today when mum comes, some sparkly branches for the fireplace, or a mini Christmas tree, these are great for that. I can't remember the prices off the top of my head, but as I mentioned, links to everything will be down below. I also love how Anthropology wrap everything, it's all very beautifully wrapped, which I guess you expect from them because you are paying that slightly higher price point. This one in here, very securely wrapped, is a bauble, and <laughs> this is so cute. So I'm not really a big drinker in Nor's Charlie, but I just thought this champagne decoration was so sweet. Let me get it out of the plastic to show you guys properly. So it says Pop Fizz Clink and it is a little pink champagne bottle, pink and sparkly. As I said, I just love personal and just 
interesting charms all over the tree, things you can collect year after year and it'll remind you of that certain Christmas. So this is the first proper tree decoration that I picked up from Anthropology. Uh, okay, so not everything is actually Christmas decoration. A lot of these things are just sausage dog related. So these, I was pleasantly surprised by how cheap they were. Well, cheap, they were 12 pounds I think. So after the discount, I think I paid around the 10 pound mark. Um, yeah, 12 pounds. So these are oven gloves with sausage dogs on them. To be honest, Charlie and I usually steer away from getting white oven gloves because they do get quite stained. Um, but I thought because these are so gorgeous with the sausage dogs on, I could not resist them. If you guys know anyone with a sausage dog, these would probably make a really good Christmas gift as well because they're useful, they're quite chic looking because they're just black and white outline of the dog. And yeah, 12 pounds, I was pretty impressed with those. So that's part of my anthropology haul. Okay, these next two are definitely a bit of an impulse purchase and to be honest I'm probably only going to keep one of them but I also need to test these on the tree because they are very heavy. Let me just undo this and I can show you properly. So it is the most beautiful precious stone. I'm not sure what you'd call this. Is it like a graphite or a... There's definitely a special word for this type of rock. But it's that sparkly stone and it's got rose gold painting all the way around it. It's got glitter over it so it really does look quite spectacular. I think if you really love to have very special treasures on your tree then these are absolutely stunning. It's quite uh, rock-like on the back but inside it's really beautiful and sparkly. So I got a white one and a purple one. To be honest, I think I might just keep the white one, if any. It is very beautiful. It's not terribly festive, I guess. Rocks being part of the Bible story, I don't really know. It is beautiful, I can't deny that. But price-wise, these full price are almost £30, which is actually insane for a Christmas decoration. So I'm going to have to think very hard about this. When we get the tree, either tomorrow or the next day, I'll put it on the tree and see how fabulous it looks because it really does have to be something quite special for nearly £30. <laughs> I think where Anthropology do their best is with the box sets, like the one that I showed you earlier. And then this one is a Shimmer Snowflake LED uh, string light set. And it comes in this presentation box, so once again, could be a really nice gift. Maybe a housewarming, if you know anyone that's just moved in and getting some nice Christmas bits to start them off. But I thought this would look really elegant, perhaps around the fireplace or around, I don't know, one of the mirrors in the house. And it's very classic, very simple, and this kind of thing is not going to go out of fashion. I know some people have like stylized Christmases and they try to change the theme every year, but this is the kind of thing that I know I will use Christmas after Christmas, so a bit of an investment piece. The way they wrap things to send them, it really is like Christmas day when you open them up. I'm not actually too sure what this is, it's very light. Aha! It's another set of Christmas baubles, uh, very well wrapped. Once again, just so beautifully presented. You've got this gift box type thing, and then it's got some tinsel inside. It's wrapped up with a beautiful bow, tinsel, and then kind of shredded paper, which just looks so, so beautiful. And the baubles themselves are a mixture of pastel colors. You've got some light pink, light blue, gold, silver, really, really beautiful. And then they almost look as though they've had a bite taken from them, and you can see like the inside almost like some kind of fruit. And then you've got some slightly more traditional ones as well. So once again, just really nice light baubles, small baubles for filling in those gaps and just making the tree look a little bit more luxurious because after all, anthropology, they are slightly more special than your average decoration, I would say. That's everything for anthropology and the next few pieces are from John Lewis. So I did a click and collect to pick up from my local Waitrose store, which is really, really handy. And the first thing that I picked up are these LED twig garlands. They looked amazing on the website. I've already undone one, um, but I did pick up two. I think these will look gorgeous once again either side of the fireplace. I think sparkly lights indoors just look so lovely in the festive season. And to be honest, I think I will probably put these up a little bit earlier next year so I can have them around a little bit longer. But make sure you keep an eye on my vlogmas, maybe tomorrow's or the next day's and then you can see how we decorate the house with these. I also picked up some wrapping paper from John Lewis. This one is just white with gold flecks. I thought that was very simple and still quite luxurious looking. And then this one's a little bit more fun. It's got little chubby Father Christmases all over it saying ho ho ho. And I picked up a couple of rolls of each of these. So I'm now all ready to start wrapping my presents. 
When we were actually collecting the order, I spotted these in Waitrose and they are sparkly tea lights and we have a wooden tea light holder which we put by the fireplace and you can very clearly see the tea lights. I think if it's in a cup, these would be a little bit wasted, but if you do have any candle holders where you can see the tea light, these are really beautiful. Um, sadly, they're not scented which I think is a bit of a shame, but maybe you can't do scented and glittery. But this is an 18 pack, can't remember how much I paid for it, um, but we also got them in silver. I think it was buy two get one free, so I have a feeling that we got a bit of a bargain with these ones. And then every year I like to get a candle like this. I know the White Company does one and um, it's actually a little bit expensive for my liking, but this one from John Lewis was a fraction of that price. You can also get them in uh, kind of local shops. If you know a shop called Hutton's, that's where I normally get them from, but we just haven't had time to go to one this year. So I picked up this from John Lewis and it's the festive scented wax and inside it you can see there's like a pine cone, there's some oranges, just festive things all built into the wax and yeah we get one of these every year and just light it on the coffee table in the evenings and it just fills the lounge with a festive fragrance which I just absolutely adore. Last but not least, Charlie and I picked up a few pieces from Next. I've never bought Christmas decorations from Next before, but uh, they had a really, really good selection this year. The first thing that I picked up is this berry LED fairy light garland. I bought this with the idea in mind to put it on the fireplace behind me along the top to create just a lovely glow all around the fireplace. So I've got fairy lights planned for the sides and for the top of it, so it's going to be a bit of a feature in the lounge. These are frosted berries, which I think look quite uh, authentic, if that makes sense. I don't like to have really fake looking berries in the house, I just don't really like that look. But these I think look very real, considering they are plastic berries. This was £25, which I think is pretty good when you go to garden centres and things like that. You can end up spending a fortune on these kind of things, so I felt that that was a pretty good price. The next few things in here are actually dog related, so I will show you. This is turning into a bit of a Christmas decoration slash sausage dog haul. Um, but yeah, they have some really good dog things in uh, Next as well. This I just thought was so handy. Wags and Whiskers super absorbent microfiber towel. So I don't know about you, but Dexter likes to run through the grass when it's soaking wet in the mornings, when it's frosty, and he is absolutely soaking when he comes in. And it just takes up so much room in our washing machine and on the dryer for a uh, proper towel so I thought this would come in so handy I've tried a microfiber towel before when I've done like camping and I know how good they are they're so absorbent and they don't take up any room this one has a dog print on it so really useful to like chuck in the back of a car for dog walks and £10 so I thought that was a very very good deal for that one okay this one I am extremely excited about Charlie and I have been looking for a winter jacket for Dexter for so long and I was not expecting to find something so perfect in Next, but how cute is this? It's got Velcro fastening, so hopefully it can go nice and securely around little chap's tummy, and it's got a collar detail, it's this beautiful kind of waterproof material, it reminds me a little bit of my Jules coats, so we'll be matchy-matchy when we next go for our walk. Um, this one was £12, I really think that Next is a bit of a underdog, excuse the pun, when it comes to dog clothing, I just thought this was such a classic piece, once again, potentially a good gift idea if you know anybody who likes to dress up their dogs. I'll just get all the dog bits over and done with. This next one is a festive jumper. A lot of you guys have been commenting on my vlogmas saying you can't wait to see what festive jumpers Dexter wears. Well, we don't actually have that many for him yet, but I saw this one on Next and thought it was gorgeous. It's got snowmen, snowflakes, and then the beautiful just fair isle print. It's got little holes here for his little legs, and it's nice and long as well, so I feel like this was made with sausages in mind and this one was eight pounds. Okay, I thought that was the last sausage dog thing, but I was wrong. <laughs> this next one is just a really silly cushion. So it's got a Christmas decorated sausage dog on skis. I mean, how much more bonkers can you get? So this is a dachshund wearing a Christmas jumper and a Santa hat, and it says dachshund through the snow, which I just... <laughs> oh my gosh, if my eye suddenly looks really bloodshot, it's because I just flung myself in the eye with a corner of this cushion because I was getting so excited about festive sausage dogs um, but yeah this is just absolutely adorable you've got a sausage dog wearing his Christmas outfit and it says dachshund through the snow which is just absolutely brilliant this is going to have pride of place in our lounge and I'm sure Dex is going to love it I can't wait for him to get home later on this afternoon and see
see all of these sausage dog pieces which we picked up for him. And then the final thing that I got from Next, this one is not strictly festive, but I do feel like stars are, you know, it's their time to shine literally this time of year. And I thought that this would just be fine throughout the rest of the year as well. So it is a doormat and Charlie and I needed a new one. We've had the same doormat since we moved in in 2012 and it's got just embossed stars on it. It was £10 and I just thought this was a really lovely one for people to wipe their feet on when they come into the house. So that was my final little treat from Next. And last but not least, I actually picked up this little bundle of Christmas items. There's pine cones, some berries, and then some twigs. I actually picked these up for blog props more than anything to take some blog photos with, but these were from Sainsbury's. I just chucked them in the trolley when we were doing our weekly shop. So I thought I would show you those as well. It's really good to check those kinds of aisles in supermarkets. I also find Sainsbury's scented candles, little tea lights are so good, and they have a really lovely um, festive scent, which actually has reminded me, speaking of festive scent, I do have one more thing from Next. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay, I found found two more things to show you. Uh, this is a diffuser from Next and Charlie's mum got us hooked on these and it's the winter collection. The winter fragrance from Next, whether that's candles, diffusers or anything along those lines is heavenly. I always think it smells nicer even than Jo Malone and the White Company. It smells so beautiful and much more affordable. This is a diffuser and we like to put these in the lounge, shut the door, light the fire and then the whole room smells absolutely heavenly. We do have quite a few scented things in here so maybe we'll put this in the corridor or in one of the upstairs bedrooms. But once again, so affordable, I'm probably going to pick up a few more of these before the season is done. And then I have one more piece from Anthropology, which was hiding behind the sofa, luckily just found it. How cute is this? It is a gingerbread house Christmas tree charm. Luckily it's really light, so hopefully it won't cause the branches of the tree to hang down too much. This was £12, once again, not cheap for a Christmas tree decoration, but how cute is this? I thought also, even if you don't use it on the tree, just as an ornament, to be honest, I might put it on the fireplace. I would hate to think of Dexter charging under the tree, this falling off and breaking, because it really is so precious. It's got uh, sparkly white icing on it. It does look so real, honestly. If there were children in the house, I'd be a little bit worried because this looks so edible. So that's everything that I picked up recently in my Christmas decoration haul. Charlie and I did also go to a garden centre recently called Long Acres near where my mum lives and we picked up loads of pieces from there but we left them in mum's car because it was too much for us to carry. So if you want to see what we got from there and also decorate the house with us, then make sure you are subscribed and watching my Vlogmas videos. It'll hopefully be in maybe number five or six, so definitely keep an eye on those to see what we got from the garden centres and to see how we transform our lounge and the rest of the house for Christmas. If you guys have picked up anything fabulous for your Christmas decorations then let me know because I am always looking out for any new ones, especially sausage dog ones. I know John Lewis had a sausage dog Christmas tree charm but it's sold out so if you guys see any others then do let me know because you know how obsessed I am with sausage dogs. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know the drill, please give it a thumbs up. And I really hope that you are enjoying Vlogmas. It's been so nice just letting you know what we've been up to during this festive month. So I really hope you guys are enjoying it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this one. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye.